everybody, this is Praxis, and if you just give me three seconds, I just got to make sure this column is nice and vertical. The bottom is all set, we've got it braced, but it looks like it's got a little bit of a bend to the top of it, and what I'm doing today is I'm going to be tying together all these columns to make sure that they are all perfect. I measured the bottom distances off of this surface uh, going over, and I want to make sure that the top distances match the bottom distances, just to make sure that they're all nice and straight. But before I do that, I want to make sure that this one is absolutely perfect, and since it has a little bit of a twist to it, I'm going to be pulling it over. And again, just three seconds, and I'll be all set with that. Yeah, I use my, my level, and I notice it just needs to kick just a little bit to your right on the top. nail back here to hook that into. Give that a try. The thing with the come along is that uh, you can slowly pull it tighter but you can't slowly loosen it. So I gotta make sure I don't go past the point. Otherwise I have to completely loosen it and start over. Gotta do a little more, do another click. See if that did it. Looks like it needs a little more. I'm getting closer. Maybe just one more. Maybe one more, maybe more than that. That looks pretty good. I'll flip it. Flip it over. It's always good practice to flip your level over. Make sure it all looks good. And it looks good. So now we can uh, just hammer it in right here. All right, there you go. And as you can see, three seconds. Yeah. Um, you know. Obviously, that took more than three seconds. If there had been a second adult here that could have just pushed on that, held the level and just given it a slight push, that literally would have taken three seconds. But when you're working on your own on construction, everything just becomes more difficult. If you're up top and you need something, if you have a second person, they can hand it up to you. If you don't, you've got to come all the way down the ladder, work your way around and everything. It's always better to have a second set of hands in construction. And, you know, we talk about, you know, the lone wolf thing with emergency preparedness. And if there was ever an... You know, a collapse, you know, some people talk about, oh, I'll just be a lone wolf, I'll do everything on my own and everything will be fine. It's always better to have more people on your team, especially going from one to two is a huge difference. And I'm definitely feeling that today. My dad wasn't able to come by and help today, so it's just myself. And River's really occupied back here with doing some road construction, so I don't want to mess with that. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be me doing this kind of stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, it just takes longer when you do it. But... Bit by bit, measurement by measurement, nail by nail, we'll get there nonetheless. But still, it's always great if you have a second set of hands. If you are doing something like this and you have the uh, ability to get someone uh, over to help you, it can make a huge difference. That's it. Thanks for watching.